everyone and welcome back to my channel and to vlogmas 2017 i'm nearly done can we believe it i thought i would do a little bit of a different video today and show you the makeup that i'm going to be wearing on christmas day now i don't think it's too tricky but it's certainly special and glittery and festive so if you'd like to see how i achieve this look simple mom style nothing too technical then keep watching oh look it's me without makeup on i can only apologize so it's hair up and then i'm cleansing my face with my nivea micellar water just to get it nice and clean and then i'm going in with a few drops of my ren beauty shot this is just like a firming serum and i've only been using it for about the past week but i do really really like the look that it gives my skin so i'm just going to massage that all over my face trying to keep it up with movements when i can and then I'm going to go in with my Body Shop Vitamin C face cream afterwards and I'm doing lots of extra prep because Christmas Day is a special day. So I'm going to moisturise that into my skin again and then I have a perfect base ready to start with so I'm going to go with my Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer here just because if I'm going to make all this effort I want that makeup to last as long as possible. And then this foundation, I love it so so much. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation and I have been obsessed with this. It is so, so good and great coverage and I'm just going to buff this in with a buffing brush which is from Sigma. And now this is something new. It is the Tarte Shape Tape and I've never used this before until this video so this is almost like a first impressions as well but I have to say I absolutely love it. Now I'm dotting this all over like my eye bags and any sort of areas of imperfections. I'm suffering with hyperpigmentation at the moment because I'm pregnant and hopefully this will do the trick. Now it comes with a beauty blender, I got this from QVC and you wet that and you just use that to gently dab the product into your skin and as you can tell I was quite impressed by this point. I thought that the difference was fantastic and the best thing for me is that it doesn't crease as well which is a problem that I sometimes get so I'm just going to continue to work that product through my skin and then quickly moisturise my lips with a fresh lip balm because I'm going to be applying a bright lip colour later and then next up it's my MAC Paint Popped in Painterly just to prime my lids and then I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Muse palette and picking this kind of mid brown shade here. You could use any mid brown shade you have, you could even use bronzer if you don't have much eyeshadow available to you and I'm just going to work that through my crease basically just to add a little bit of depth and I'm going to gently buff that out as well with a blending brush so it's nice and seamless with my skin and then this is the star of the show. Now this is the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in Kitten Karma which is a signature shade for them and just look at how glitzy and glamorous that is. Now I like to paint this onto my lids a bit like paint by numbers really. I paint it on very very carefully and make sure that the brush is nice and loaded up with product so I get the maximum effect and it's quite easy to do and all I do then at the edges is just dab with my finger to blend it slightly but you don't want to apply too much pressure or it might pull some of the product off instead. Now once I've done that I'm just going to take a spoolie and brush through my eyebrows and neaten them up a bit because mine get a bit fly away and then I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I'm going to work that through my eyebrows just gently with very light brush strokes to add a bit more definition where the areas are you know a bit sparse and things like that. So I'm going to continue working that product through my brows and then I'm going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow just to add a little bit of texture. I'm really enjoying this product at the moment and I always like to finish my brows off with it at the moment. So onto powder I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent. I'm a big fan of this. I always have been for years. And then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow which is sadly running out and I'm going to contour with the Contour shade here. I absolutely love this. I think it gives a really natural contour and you can see the difference that it makes to my big moon face. So so I'm going to work that into the hollows of my cheeks and then around my forehead and my jawline and my nose and then once that's done I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown blush. This is a brightening brick in the shade Tawny and I absolutely love the natural flush it gives. Then I'm going to go in with the Barry M liquid chrome highlighter drops in Beam Me Up and now these are seriously glitzy so maybe have a practice if you've not used these before but I'm just going to dab that into the skin and then I'm going to go in with eyeliner so I've got my Stila eyeliner here which I absolutely love I'll link it down below 
And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Mascara, which is amazing and it's not too expensive either, which is always a plus. So now my lashes are all done and the rest of my face is done, all I need to do now is decide on lipstick. Now you could go with like a nice blush pink if you weren't a fan of heavy colour because this eyeshadow is really versatile. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Secret Salma here, which is a lovely choice if you prefer it a little bit more neutral. But I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Amsterdam and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous poppy red. It's so, so nice and it's perfect for this time of year and applies really, really well. Now, you could leave it like that, but I'm going to go over with a Jouer lip gloss as well just to add a little bit of glitz at the end, but that's entirely up to you. So that's the finished look and I am just so pleased with it. Every time I wear this, especially at this time of year, I just feel so festive and I think it's pretty without being too heavy but it's still got a little bit of glitz with that Stila eyeshadow and I just think it's perfect for the festive season so I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration or you just enjoyed watching it anyway but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all very soon tomorrow in fact <laughs> thank you bye